What's going on guys, Balkan Architect here and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how can you actually get topography with buildings for any pretty much any site in the world that you might be interested in. So I'm going to be using this cool website called CAD Mapper that allows you to download up to one kilometer of topography for pretty much any place in the world. You can just find the address, uh, type it in and then search for it and then you can of course download the file. Now uh, if you want over one square kilometer you would have to pay but anything under works and in my opinion anything under one kilometer is pretty much okay just to show the surroundings of your building and then of course if you're working on some maybe more complex projects you can always pay. Now I'm going to be leaving a link to that website in the description of this video and this idea I got from John Henning, I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, it's a really cool website so I decided to create a tutorial on how can we take topography from that website. First we have to take it into AutoCAD and then move to Revit and then we have amazing uh, 3D topography in Revit. Now before I get into that tutorial I would just like to ask you to like this tutorial, it helps me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm and also if you haven't already make sure to subscribe. I make useful Revit tutorials each week, I make multiple tutorials and also I make one advanced Balkan Architect course. All of these courses can be found just by following the first link in the description and there you can find all of my Revit project files as well. I've got over 500 files so far. Okay, without any further ado, let's get into the tutorial. Here we are at the CAD Mapper website. Now you can find it either on Google by typing in CAD Mapper or I'm just going to leave the link in the description of this video. So it, it allows you to download up areas up to one kilometers for free and then anything larger than that you'll have to pay for. Now you log in over here or you sign in, you have the sign in option uh, and then you can get started by creating a file. Now here once you click this you get to this menu create map. Now in this case I already found an area so you basically type in the location it takes you to that place in this case it shows Los Angeles California USA and then I found a location that I like. Now you can resize this window if you want but what you'll notice that on this side as you start resizing it it goes up to one kilometer and then when you pass one kilometer below here you're going to see that you can purchase anything larger than that so if we make this a lot larger as you can see now it's eight euros uh, eight dollars and so on and so forth but for this demonstration we can stick to the free file and in most cases uh, if you're just uh, looking for some topography for the surroundings of your building uh, up to one kilometer square kilometer is going to be more than enough Moving on, here we have uh, the option to select our design program. Now, uh, currently the AutoCAD is checked, but if you use any of these other software, feel free to use those. In this case, because we're going to be using AutoCAD in order to import this into Revit, that's why I'm going to check that. Next, we have the option to include 3D buildings, which I think is really cool, so I'm going to use that as well. And then here we have the topography and the contour lines. Now, you can set them up at different heights. Uh, the smallest uh, interval is 4 meters. If you try anything below that, it's not going to work, so I'm just going to include that. And then we also have road geometry, which is really useful. Now, you can either go with center lines or, or outlines. I prefer outlines. And then you can here set up the, uh, the widths of each one of those. So you can have paths, minor roads, major roads, as well as highways, which is really cool. Okay, so once you have everything set up and as long as your map size doesn't exceed one kilometer, you can just click here to create file and it will immediately download a zipped file for you. And once you unzip it, you get your AutoCAD file there. Now I've already done went through that process, so I'm just going to jump straight into CAD and this is what we get. So let's just uh, orbit around a little bit and this is what that uh, looks like. And now at this point this is the mesh that you get and as you can see it's kind of uh, broken up so we've got these edges here which are not really good for creating meshes. Now you can import this into Revit and it will work just perfectly but the problem is uh, your topo surface might look a bit odd. So what I like to do is I like to smooth this out by selecting the mesh and then type in mesh smooth or smooth mesh. Or yeah, mesh smooth, sorry. <laughs> 
or you can go with smooth more and as you can see here it smooths it out and now the lines are a lot more a lot smoother okay so once we have done this i can save this file so i'll just go here to save as a drawing and i'm just going to save it on desktop as cad mapper la now you can save it as an earlier version or this one doesn't really matter hit save and then let's jump straight into Revit. So once we're in Revit here, I'm going to start off a new model project and I'm going to go with the architectural template. Just click OK and it will open up. So once this, uh, once you open up Revit, the next thing that we need to do is to load this CAD mapper AutoCAD file in. So for that, what I'm going to do is go here to the insert tab and then on the insert tab, let's go with either link CAD or uh, you can go with import CAD. In this case, I'm just going to stick with that and let's go to desktop and here we have the CAD mapper LA. Now you can preserve the colors, you can change the level, the, the units, but it should auto detect the size. So let's see. Well, it didn't, so uh, I guess this didn't work the first time, so let's unpin this and escape out of that. So in this case, if Revit doesn't uh, figure out the units on its own, what you need to do is go back here in AutoCAD. Uh, let's just navigate around perhaps a little bit. Let's see what are the distances here. Or something like that, so... we have a road okay so we have a road okay so this is six meters so this is in meters so what we need to do is go back here into Revit go to import CAD and then just for units make sure to check meters click open and now it oops CAD map LA of course hit open and now it should figure out the units and it did here we go now you can select it, unpin it, and then maybe move it a bit to the center, pin it back in place, and then let's go into 3D to see what this looks like. And this is what we have. This is that mesh that we have created. Maybe if we go to realistic, this is what that looks like. So I really like the, the look, and you can actually keep it like this if you want, if this works for you, just for a surrounding. But of course, we want to convert this into a topo surface so we can use it for our projects. Uh, so uh, in order to convert this into a topo surface, what we just need to do is go here to the massing and site tab. And once we're there, let's go to topo surface, create from import, and then select import instance, select this, and then here we can check what we want to use. So you can basically uh, go with check none, and then let's just check topography, click OK, hit finish. Okay, so uh, I guess that layer didn't work, so let's try again. And in this case, let's go with check none, and let's check the contours, click OK. And there we go, okay, it figured out the contours. So there we go, so we have our topography, if we just hit finish, here we have our Revit topography that perfectly follows this a topo surface and of course you have your buildings in the background and everything so you can actually use it uh, in your project as sort of a background or something like that so it's a really useful website for downloading information like this I, I find it really amazing that you can get free information like this so give it a try I'm going to leave a link to this in the description and then Feel, feel free to use it. And of course, at any point, if you're, uh, well, done with the file, you don't have to use it. You can either explode the file if you want, and then uh, the basically some 3D data won't be exploded, but you will get uh, all of the 2D data below. So if you want to use the roads, for example, or something like that, you can. So if we select this line, as you can see, this is this outline and then we can use this to sketch out a road on top of our topo surface so if i go to site plan select the topo surface here below we can see the roads so what you can do maybe is to uh, go with the wireframe visual style and then you can go with subregion and then perhaps just use pick lines to pick some of these lines Oops, okay so let's get rid of these So as you can see, you can select entire line segments 
and basically create this road so we can just continue adding oops adding lines to this road just to complete it so let's let's complete all of these roads here so it is a bit difficult to select all of these lines unfortunately but once you get them you're going to get all of the roads which is really cool Okay, so I have now finally uh, done the whole sketch and here we have that road so you can just go here and change the uh, material to something like, I don't know, let's try concrete just to give it a different color. And there we go, so now we have all of the roads that are going on this topography. So that's how you can use CAD Mapper to pretty much find any location uh, in the world and then use it to create really cool uh, Revit topography with it that's completely accurate. Okay, so that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and share this video. And if you want to check out some of my advanced courses, check out the first link in the description. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.